hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele happy world jollof rice day yes y'all and we are celebrating today with our goat's meat jollof rice recipe so i sure hope you have all the ingredients at home because you cannot be left out let's get started here are a few of my ingredients i have my salt beef seasoning cumin and some anise seed i'm also using half of a medium onion about two thumb size ginger garlic cloves i have one of my spice blend cubes and one habanero pepper and here we have our goat's meat so i'm just going to blend my habanero pepper ginger garlic onion spice blend cube and also my anise seed and cumin and then we'll continue to a pot we're gonna add our goat's meat to that we'll add our blended up ingredients rinse out the blender at the water add your beef seasoning and also salt give it a good stir and allow it to cook until it is nice and tender not forgetting to check on it periodically add some more water if you need because goat's meat is very very tough and you want to ensure that it is nicely cooked At this point, I'm checking on my goat's meat and it is looking good. It's halfway cooked, so I'll give it a stir, cover it up, and continue cooking. To begin our stew, I have one and a half of a medium onion. I chopped it up into my blender, it goes. To that, I'll add one habanero pepper, and I'm also using about two cups of my homemade tomato sauce, okay? Now, let's check on our meat one more time. It looks good. It is ready, it is nice and tender. So at this point, you may bake it if you wish, but I'm going to be frying it in some coconut oil, which is going to infuse its flavor into the meat. Our meat is nice and ready so I'm going to get it out and set it aside I'll continue the frying process until everything is fried up next we'll be using the same oil we used to fry our meat because it is flavor infused and I like to strain it because the pieces in there are probably burnt so I do not want that it is optional you don't have to do this so to the oil I'm going to add my blended up onions and habanero pepper and we're going to fry this for a good five minutes the base of your Jollof rice stew is everything. If you start it well, you are going to have one tasty goat's meat jollof rice, okay? This have been frying for about five minutes now. So it is time for me to add in some tomato paste. So I'll be adding some of my homemade tomato paste. To that, I'll add two bay leaves and also some star anise. I love the flavor that it brings into my jollof rice. It is absolutely delicious. I'm going to stir everything together and I'll fry this for an additional five minutes. <laughs> Next, we'll add in our tomato sauce, rinse out the container, add that water, give it a good stir and cook this on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes.
Our stew have been cooking for about 12 minutes now and it's time to add our stock from cooking our meat. Give it a good good stir and we'll continue cooking this on medium heat until oil begins to settle on top of it. all right y'all our stew is looking good and you can see oil beginning to settle on top of it which is an indication that it is almost done i'll be adding in my goat's meat but before then i'm fishing out the star anise that i have in the stew because it is the same color as the meat and i do not want anybody biting into it thinking that it is meat my kids hate that so <laughs> I try to do that then I'll add in my meat continue cooking this but now on medium low simmering beautifully until it is done you don't want this stew to burn it tastes so delicious you don't want to ruin it so be patient with your stew and it will not disappoint you <laughs> okay my people this is about 10 minutes later i'm adding in some curry powder and also some ground anise now people wanted to know why i said add your curry powder in the end that is because it'll maintain its flavor and fragrance but feel free to add it at any stage in your cooking process this too is as good as done it have just about five minutes to be done which will give me time to wash my rice okay yes <laughs> you can tell i love food everywhere is smelling so good and i cannot help it yo i can't help it <laughs> did you guess jasmine rice then you were right that is our favorite in this house so i'm going to wash it until the water runs clear which is an indication that i've gotten if not all most of the starch out our stew is nice and ready i took some and i set that aside now i'm adding in my washed rice and i'm going to give it a good stir until each grain is nicely coated with some of our tasty tasty stew now jollof rice can be very very tricky if you use too much stew you ruin it too little stew ruins it as well but less stew is actually better than too much so you want to keep that in mind also the amount of water you add depends on the type of rice you're using jasmine rice does not take well to water if you add too much your jollof rice is going to be very very mushy so what i like to do is to add enough water just to loosen up the grains just let them be free in the pot you know <laughs> I just want you to notice how much water I have in the bowl and how much I put. Yes, I didn't put all of it because I want to stir it up first to see the consistency before adding more. If you just pour everything in there, just two more tablespoons of water may just give you the texture that you're not looking for. So I give it a good, good stir, like I said, until everything loosens up and i'm like yes this is what i want so this is what i want as you can see right here this will give me the omonia jie kume kume you know what i mean the single grains this consistency right here is going to give me that but then again it depends on the type of rice that you're using and also remember you can always add more water during the cooking process but you cannot take out we'll now cover it up bring it to a boil once it boils we'll lower the heat have it cook for about 15 minutes and then we'll give it a good stir because this is what helps cook the jollof rice you want the steam to be able to penetrate through beautifully to give you 
perfect jollof rice and as you can see it is coming together beautifully i'll then cover it with a parchment paper because it is a perfect condensation catcher that way we don't have any water getting back into our rice when the steam is trying to escape it'll just sit on top of the parchment paper do you see what i mean by perfect condensation catcher everything stays on top of the paper and i love that so it is now time for us to fluff up our rice one more time because like i said this is what cooks it okay fluffing it up to allow the steam go through is what does the trick for you to get the perfect jollof rice now a very big shout out to my beautiful sister in dubai fafa who gave me a call yesterday and said girl tomorrow is world jollof rice day so be sure to represent <laughs> thank you so much i really appreciated that because i had no idea thank you mama please head to her channel to check out her jollof rice recipe for today i'll be leaving the link in the description box below to make it easy on you and do not forget to subscribe before you leave thank you it is now time for us to cover it up allow it to do its thing until it is ready Ta-da! It is ready. Just look at this rice. Como bono mo if it fine. Ah, que ye fo ye fine. Ni que ye fine ye feel. This is absolutely perfect. I will call this my no fail goat's meat jollof rice recipe. So, hmm. My sister Janet Ubeji, you said you do not trust Ghana jollof rice. Please try my recipe and it may just change your mind. I cannot wait. You ask for it and it is here. And my sweets, please check out her channel. She's an amazing cook, mother and wife. So serve and enjoy just look at that absolutely delicious oh my goodness benyali sweetie tin tin se wo isani ajeli in kamadang afitahi but it's all good if you don't want that you can omit it completely <laughs> i'm the sweetie tin tins champion thank you all so so much for watching and a happy happy world jollof day once again i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is Rita Jelly. thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini ochemi sweet mahabotu bye y'all